listing grids, which is very important for your Wix.com website. Today I'm going to show you exactly what they are and how you can apply them to your website. So without further ado, let's continue to look over to the Add Features button on the left hand side and we're going to click Add. We're going to scroll down just under the box menus, List and Grids, and here we go. Alrighty, now we have the Add Features with the List and Grids. Now the List and Grids are pretty simple, so don't worry if you're not entirely sure. This is what this video is for, so hit subscribe so you can see more tips and tricks in our further videos. So let's see, we're going to drag and drop. We're just going to put it over here just for the sake of the video. And here we go. Now this is a repeater. Now with a repeater you can see that in this selected template it shows you some advertising. Uh, so what this is going to do is exactly going to show you the pictures and the price. Now if you remember on the grids and the list that we showed you before this is the exact same thing but it's a little bit more uh, easier to navigate and grab instead of just going over to the boxes or the interactives. So remember the interactives here? Well these are just a little bit smaller. Uh, so this is the big difference here. All right, so let's go over, well, the, the settings and the items and the features. Remember, so anytime you're adding something such as the grids or the list or we're talking about interactive, it all has that same layout, the animation, and the stretch. Remember, so in the previous videos we were talking about the stretch, you can stretch it this way, stretch to full screen or not, or we can actually do it by this little tab here and stretch it ourselves, right? Now this gives a little space. Now when we're talking about making this gap, if you notice there's a gap here, and we're going to show you that in the settings and how to make that margin distance fit exactly how you stretch, right? So not a problem. And I recommend, honestly, to make a lot of this easier, it's just a stretch for the full screen. But even here, because I moved it, it's going to be a little bit different. All right, so let's go over manage items. Manage items. So the items is exactly each one of these little boxes uh, where the repeaters. And once you select, you can see when you select inside of this box, it's going to highlight each one. And remember, if you remember as far as the decorative, interactive, and the galleries, uh, I would recommend to actually name them to how you want once you create them. Okay. So again, it's just the same. Uh, you can duplicate the item as well, uh, or you can delete it. And once to delete it, you click here, duplicate or delete the same. That's to manage the items. Now, the layout. The layout is important, as I was just showing you here. This is going to change like the gap in between uh, or how they're done. You can see as it's changing there, the vertical spacing, right? Uh, this is changing it as well. Now, you can actually have it go from left to right, or right to left, the same, nothing changes from the gallery and the list and the grids because essentially that gallery is a list or grid. And you can see now that I've made this spacing bigger using this tab. And you can actually click and you can put a custom number to just, you can see 92, right? 192, whichever. Uh, now, here you go. Now you see that it's actually more space in between, right? All right, uh, now we'll click back here. That's the layout. Let's go back down. And then we have the animation for exactly how it shows up when the page loads. Remember this? It's the same for the text. It's the same for the border lines. It's the same for the boxes. Uh, it's all the same. So this is just allowing it. Now you can customize it too. The power, you can have it hard, medium, or soft. You can have it expand in. Now this is the selection that I clicked. Uh, duration of seconds, the delay speed, and only made, only animate the first time. So that means like it only come, it only happens one time that you load the page up together. That's the animation. Again, it's the same it's the same information for anything else that you're doing when you see animation. So that word animation is exactly showing you this, and it's going to repeat for anything that you add on the page that has this option available. This is it. If you want to change the picture, you can. Uh, once you click on the image, you can see change image, the settings, the design, the crops, the filters, the animation even for this picture, and a link for when you click on this picture, it's going to take you to a direct link. It's the same. It's the same for the gallery as well. Nothing changes. Change the image, 
It's going to take us to our dashboard. Now, once we get to our dashboard, remember we have my boards, we have media from Wix, and also what we've uploaded from my computer. If you remember this image here, this is what we've done. Right, so SciPods, you can make a folder. It's the same. This dashboard is the same when it comes to images or video files, in which as it is our next video is media and uh, videos. All right, so once we go through, we can go to settings, and here we go, more direct. So we can change this picture, we can adjust it, and if you caught our last video, you also remember that uh, it's probably easier to start with a template such as this for a grid or a repeater, however you want to call it. Uh, now, once you start with the template, you can just change it. Uh, let's see. Let, I want to show you guys how to actually change the image to how what I want. All right, remove this up, change image. And there we go. That's my image. Now, I can crop this image too and crop and make and move however we want, right? And I'm just going to crop it, make it a little bit bigger. Now, this is going to be bigger than the other ones. So you probably want to do the same for the others. All right, you can zoom in on the image. You can zoom out. You can reset the shape proportions. You can flip the shape horizontally, flip it vertically. You can cancel it or you can apply it. I'm just going to apply it. And there we go. Sanatory, right? Now, the same when we go to the text. Remember the text boxes. You just double click to make it fast. And you can edit it. If you don't want to double click and you want to make it to hard, you can go to edit text and it does the same for you. So which is ever better for you? You have multiple options on how to get to exactly where you want to go. The paragraph, the fonts, font size, you have your bolds, italics, underlines, etc, 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 as well as doing the, it's, it's the same as Word. Let's put it that way. Let's make it much easier for you. The same as Word. If anything you're typing in Word, you're doing it right here on your website. This is it. Uh, so the second text, the third text, it's the same. If you don't have an idea, get text ideas, but I'm sure if you're creating a website, you have your own ideas. If not, you need a little bit of help. This is, there you go. Remember that animation, animation for this text, animation for this text, animation for that text, animation for the photograph. So you have so many different options here as well in making filters. So this is exactly it. Now, once you complete it, you can highlight it again and you can drag it so you can see how I can drag and move it however you want. Now, this is my homepage here, uh, so you can do this as well. And I'm going to move this back up, so just click and drag and drop to the very top. And you can just move it however you want. Remember, and this is pretty much it for those. Now, coming back to the listing grids, this is a repeater. These are all the same. It's just a box with the image and text added to it, plus a button. So we have, we typically have, what, three text boxes, and then we have a button plus an image. That's what you do use with the boxes. All right, so you can start from scratch, and you can just add a text box. You can just add the image to it and the button all inside of one box and create your own repeater as well. So it's however you would like. All right, uh, that's the list in grids. This is just all templates for you that it kind of gives you an idea of different designs if you want, and you can create them yourself, but the templates are much, much easier to just start with a template and then just change them later on. Even the colors, the backgrounds, the borderlines uh, around this, it's all much easier to do by yourself uh, with a template than to go in and create it from scratch. So this is all of this is, and you can see this is a very cool one here, and all it is here in this box is just images stacked on top of each other, so layered. And this is it. And uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, so you can change all of this. You can make it however you want. Remember, going back to text, uh, we don't like that color. We want to change that color to red, maybe. And there you go. And change the color. And we're going to exit out. And there. And you see. And you can change this. You can change the font, the size, etc. Just as I showed you in the text before, it's the same even when we're talking about repeaters. So no need to worry. So if you caught the first couple of videos, honestly, it kind of sets you up uh, for everything you need to know in the future on how to change or add something. So that's one great thing about Wix is that because you can do this, uh, learning to how to do the text, the images as well, and create boxes and the borderlines, you already have everything you need to know to add pictures, to add a grid, to add anything else that you need. So it really helps to you guys. 
All right. So don't hit, don't forget to hit subscribe. Follow us up for more tips and tricks, and we're going to go over some other information on our next video about video and music, and show you how to add that to your website as well. All right, guys. Catch you later.